we all are busy in chasing our dreams but after running on through the whole day the soul requires rest <laughs> Next day, the patient goes for medical help. Hello, doctor. Last night, I am. I was feeling deadly cold, and I was unable to breathe. Don't worry. Let me check. Just okay, doctor. Inhale. Next. Do you snow at night? Yes, doctor. Sometimes. Okay. So I will recommend Sita for you. Okay, doctor. But uh, what is Sita? It is a device which will maintain the pain so that you can properly inhale and exit by sitting. I recommend you to contact the uh, team diagnotherapy. Uh, they have the team of biomedical engineers who can tell you all about the Sita. Please have this number. You can call them. Okay, thank you, doctor. Mm, I need to call diagnotherapy. Hello, team diagnotherapy. Welcome to the technical room of diagnotherapy. CPAP. CPAP is continuous positive airway pressure. CPAP is a spontaneous mode of ventilation. No mandatory breaths are delivered by the machine. CPAP is positive pressure throughout the complete respiratory cycle that is inspiratory and expiratory when breathing spontaneously. CPAP is not the same as PEEP that is positive and expiratory pressure. CPAP is measured in terms of centimeters of H2O. Let's see the graph of a CPAP. A CPAP graph is pressure versus time graph and there is a baseline is maintained and it gives window for spontaneous breathing. Let me blow the air in the mic so that you can have a felt of highway CPAP air blows. Now let's, let us check how it works in OSA. We, we can air can enter into our lungs from nose or the mouth it goes through the airway then there is a throat then the to the windpipe but in case the in case the airway get squeezed then it it has a vibrating sound and it is like snoring and it may be the condition that it gets completely blocked and there will be low o2 and it will trigger our neural system to disturb the sleep and it may end up with a gas. <gasps> this type of response may be got from the patient. So CPAP it, in that we apply a mask and from the tube a CPAP is delivered to the patient and it maintains the airway in such a way that it remains open throughout the inspiratory cycle so that proper inhalation and expiration can take place. CPAP may be also used for, uh, for increasing the circulation of the patient you can see from the diagram if there is lung and there is a heart here so it increases the pressure it triggers the heart so that the circulation is increased cpap increases the surface area of the alveoli which helps in number of ways to increase the po2 value to decrease the pco2 value to have a better gaseous exchange or to remove secretion that is in pneumonia you can see in the diagram the induced pressure increases the surface area and results in better gaseous exchange that's all from the technical room thanks for watching this team diagnotherapy signing off